At this time, could I have Coastal Bend Walk and Roll to come up? Okay, we'll save a spot for her. Here. Love all your bright colors. Yeah. Sure they're they're going to see you. <laughs> October is National Disability Employment Awareness Month and National White Cane Day, October the 15th, 2015 to be honored by the 7th Annual Coastal Bend Walk and Roll Celebration on Saturday, September the 26, 2015. Sponsored by the Coastal Bend Texas Re Rehab Action Network, Trans Subchapter and Community Partners. We dedicate the 2015 Coastal Bend Walk and Roll Celebration to Family Strong, a circle of strength and love. Tran is a nonprofit organization composed of vocational rehabilitative counselors, public employees, consumers, volunteers, and others who advocate for the vocational rehabilitation program. The Office of the Governor's Committee on People with Disabilities awarded Coastal Bend Tran the Martha Arbuckle Award, representing the highest level of community contribution to people with disabilities in our state of Texas. It is critically important to the future of our Coastal Bend community that we realize the potential of persons with disabilities through employment integration. Now, therefore, pursuant to the powers vested in me as Mayor Pro Tem of the City of Corpus Christi, I do hereby proclaim September the 26th, 2015, as Coastal Bend Walk and Roll Celebration for Disability Awareness Day in Corpus Christi, Texas, and encourage all citizens to celebrate the vital contributions of individuals with in disabilities as we work towards fulfilling the promise of the ADA to give all our citizens the opportunity to live with dignity, work productively and to achieve their dreams. Thank you. Would you like to introduce yourself and the others? Hi, I'm Sara Salvide and I'm a volunteer. All of us here are volunteers. We work to uh, put this walk and roll celebration all year long. You see the beautiful yellow t-shirts up here. Those are going to be given to the first 500 uh, individuals who register. It starts early in the morning on Saturday. You'll see the sunrise. Uh, we're at the Water Gardens. We start registration at 6.30. The walk is at uh, 8 o'clock. Everything is free. The t-shirts, goodie bags, we have Zumba dancing. We'd like to invite all of you to participate with us uh, to make employers aware of the fact that we have an incredible work workforce available. Uh, study after study has indicated that the workforce of individuals with disabilities is the most reliable one. We are thankful to the Department of Assistive and Rehabilitative Services for the training, the education, the resources they make available to ensure that individuals with disabilities uh, find employment, stay at their jobs, and become productive citizens. So please join us on Saturday. It really is a lot of fun. There is a Lots to do. It's going to be a beautiful day. We'd love to have you there. And again, the first 500 individuals who register uh, will get one of these t-shirts for free. We'd like to thank all of our, uh, our supporters, including the city of Corpus Christi. The city of Corpus Christi has been with us from the very beginning, seven years ago. The mayor, who was then councilwoman, has walked with us through rain and cold weather. So we'd like to invite the entire community to join us to employers who are out there, if you have an employment possibility, an opening, please consider hiring someone with a disability. You will not regret it. Thank you so much. Thank you all so much. We'd like to get a picture. Yes,
Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now we need the Roy Miller Class 50th Reunion. Rudy, are you a buck? Come on down here. Are you 50? <laughs> Rudy, come on over here. <coughs> Why don't you do this one? You yeah, sure? I don't have, I didn't bring my glasses okay, down. guys. <laughs> when I get when I get to the alma mater, I hope y'all know it because y'all gonna sit with me, right? Okay. All right. Roy Miller High School was created in 1894 and is the oldest high school in Corpus Christi. Originally known as Corpus Christi High, the school was renamed in 1950 in honor of Henry Pomeroy Miller, the former mayor of Corpus Christi. Miller strives for academic excellence for all students. Students past and present still recognize the motto of once a buck, always a buck. The class of 1965 honors six loyal classmates who served our country and are Viet Vietnam casualties. Private first class Francisco Garza in the Army, Specialist Four Jose Ramos Army, Corporal Jesse Yanez Marines, Lance Corporal Raul Flores, Marines, Private First Class Mike Garcia, Marines, and Private First Class Faustino Trevino, Army. The class also recognizes the other veterans who served and survived the Vietnam War. All these young people are our heroes. The class of 1965 will be holding its 50th reunion on October the 2nd through the 3rd, 2015, at which time former students will reunite with classmates to reminisce on golden memories of their times at Roy Miller High School and share family stories which keep us in the Buck family, remaining true to their alma mater, which is, let's go, hell on, come on. is awesome. <laughs> now therefore, pursuant to the powers vested in me as Mayor Pro Tem of the City of Corpus Christi, I do hereby proclaim September the 27th through October the 4th, 2015 as 1965 Roy Miller Class 50th Reunion Week in Corpus Christi, Texas, and encourage all our community to wish their class of 1965 the best golden memories celebration during their week of remembrances and fun activities. Thank you. Well, I'll just say what Adele said is go Bucks go. And we really owe it all to our Lord and Savior that we're all here 50 years later. We have a really good, strong uh, class. We're a diverse class. We're also the last class that had the old school um, before they started getting demolished. So we're really proud um, and uh, we wish we could invite everybody, but we want you to celebrate with us in spirit. And especially, we wanted to make this very special for our veterans. And we have a big salute to the veterans, and then we're going to honor our six fallen classmates in Vietnam. Thank you. Thank you so much. Here you go. Let's stay up here for a picture. Go Bucks. <laughs> hey, you got to come back and sing for us again sometime. It's a king. I can't remember. I don't Congratulations. Love the color. Okay. <laughs> I was a Kingsville guy. All we had ever, ever did was lose to you all. 73. Every sport. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Thank you for coming. Rudy, thank you for coming. God bless you. Appreciate you, man. You're the man.
At this time, I would like to ask those individuals in the audience who are here to be sworn in on a city board or committee to please come into the front area with me. Morning. Morning. Ladies and gentlemen, these individuals have been appointed by the City Council to serve on one of the City Boards or Commissions. We appreciate your willingness to volunteer your time to serve the City. In this manner, and all we ask is that you make decisions that you feel are in the best interest of the City. With us today, and I'm going to let y'all say your names. Dalia Gutierrez with the uh, Committee for People with Disabilities. Rita Sonia Herrera Padron, RSVP Advisory. Uh, Donnie Contreras with the uh, Committee with People with Disabilities. Please raise your right hand and state your name after I say the word I. I. Do solemnly swear or affirm that I will faithfully execute the duties of a member of the board to which I have been appointed and upon which I am about to enter and will to the best of my ability preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution and laws of the United States and of this state and of this city, so help me God. Thank you all so much. And um, after, I'm going to get a picture, and afterwards, if you would go with Tammy Riley to the city secretary's office where you'll have to sign your oath of office. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you for your service. Thank you very much for your service. Rita's actually from my area. <laughs> <laughs> 